news. We want to keep our parents out there informed about new apps that may expose your children to danger. And we've warned you in the past about a few, like one called Musically. And now a video sharing app was bought by another app company, rebranded into something that might be just as troubling. 7 News anchor Diane Lee here with a warning. Yeah, Gordon, the app is called TikTok. And while it's currently the world's most downloaded app, it only launched in the U.S. last month. So a lot of parents have no idea it even exists. Short videos with special effect filters and stickers. What could be more enticing to kids? Except TikTok isn't supposed to be for anyone under 16. How many is using that app? Every class for the last couple of weeks that I spoke to, third, fourth, and fifth grade, they're bringing it up. They, they're aware of TikTok. Parents, on the other hand, when I've spoken to them, they have no idea what it is. TikTok is a global short video clip sharing app, which recently took over Musical.ly. When you're posting your videos to TikTok, you're posting it to the world. What concerns information security expert Rick Floyd is the way TikTok exposes users to not just potentially inappropriate video and language, but the world's most far-reaching chat channel. They try to um, convince me to do it with them. And I say no. Many of these plain elementary school nine year olds already have stories of being targeted by strangers online. One person sent me a friend request one time and I joined them and it ended up being like a complete stranger who just tried to like try to get me to tell them my information, but I just like left the game. The danger is very real. Floyd says last year, eight third grade girls in the district thought they were talking to a 12 year old boy with cancer on Musically. An investigation revealed that it was actually a 28 year old man. From Kentucky. Another concern with TikTok the amount of personal data the app acquires from your location to your contacts to your messages. If you just put it on there, it'll never be gone. It'll never just go away. Yeah, and one more thing, Gordon, that parents might find a bit disturbing about TikTok is the app only has two privacy settings. So you either have it completely private, which means only the user can see his or her own videos. Or you have a completely public, there's no just sharing it with friends. So anything you post in there is likely to be public to everybody. This kid in your story, how old are those kids? Third, oh, fourth they're grade? nine years old. The, the kid says somebody tried to get his information, yeah. right? Has that been reported to police? I mean, that's scary well, stuff. That's the whole thing, and he told his mom about it. And the interesting thing with that kid in particular is he saw Rick Floyd's talk from last year when he was in third grade, so he knew just what to do, which is go tell mom and make sure that you don't give any private information. You can only hope that all the kids out there have that understanding. Uh, one more thing. You, you did do a story on Musical.ly, which I yes. guess was the app that was bought by this TikTok right. app. As a parent, we're never going to keep up with yeah. all the things on the internet. So it's sort of a blanket warning, right? Yeah. To just that's watch the phone. That's what's so scary. And nowadays, it's, it's any of these apps, most of them do have these chat abilities. Mm -hmm. And especially an app like TikTok that's worldwide, you can chat with anybody. Mm -hmm. So you just have to be aware that Kids are going to find ways to communicate with strangers in there or strangers with the kids. Strangers and can reach right into your yes. kid's home and, yeah. and talk to them. All right, uh, Diane.